All right, Glenn, thank you. Erica Rico here at the live desk with that big breaking traffic news out of Stewart. The Coast Guard says that the southbound Roosevelt Bridge is in danger of collapsing at any moment. Right here, I have the tweet up from the Stewart Police Department sent overnight confirming that the southbound lanes of that bridge are currently closed. Our WPTV News Channel 5's Camerill Eppinger live there this morning. Cam, you've been there since very early talking with police. What can you tell us about this investigation and what you're seeing going on there? Erica, good morning. I can tell you, I just want to be clear that this is all happening on the southbound lanes of the Roosevelt Bridge. It's still no timetable yet as to when those lanes will reopen. We just spoke with the Stewart Police Department and they just gave us an update. As you can see right behind me, the traffic that's flowing behind me is actually here at the intersection of Wright Boulevard and US-1. Uh, the southbound lanes of traffic is actually being diverted onto the northbound lanes of the Roosevelt Bridge. Stewart PD says that right now they're waiting on engineers to come out and inspect the bridge. We know that crews have been here all night and just within the past five minutes, uh, Florida Department of Transportation has been putting out more cones and barriers here uh, at this busy intersection. I want to go ahead and show you some pictures just to give you an idea of what crews are being faced with. They're trying to repair a huge crack at the south end of the bridge. Again, still no word on how this happened or how long these repairs could take. As a result, the U.S. Coast Guard warning all borders to avoid the area until further notice. For safety, saying that the bridge is an imminent danger of collapsing. As I mentioned earlier, we spoke with the PIO Sergeant Basio with Stewart PD, and he couldn't comment on whether or not the bridge could collapse, but he did provide us with some insight as to how this all unfolded. Take a listen. What we do know is uh, some concrete fell from underneath the Roosevelt Bridge, and there were concerns uh, about the bridge and its safety at that time. Uh, so we immediately, out of caution, uh, closed down the southbound lanes uh, to ensure that it is safe for everybody. And back out here live again, just wanted to give you a live look at here at the intersection of Wright Boulevard and US-1. You can see the traffic coming towards you. That's the southbound traffic. And again, that's all being diverted to the north side of the bridge. Again, there's still no word on when those southbound lanes will reopen. Of course, this is something that we're going to be monitoring closely and bring you developments as they become available throughout the morning. We're live this morning in Stewart, Camera Leppinger, WPTV News Channel 5. My uh, if you're just listening in, here's a map of the detour. Southbound traffic is being diverted onto the northbound bridge. One northbound lane of the bridge is open for northbound traffic. Old Dixie Highway is also closed in both directions underneath the Roosevelt Bridge. Law enforcement, as you can see, is helping direct traffic.